meditation and my work food ne yo there are so many red flags um i could be launching got double standards and sometimes where i come from is not valid Mzansi Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana has uh, made headlines due to her alleged relationship with Mr. Tabo Basta. To look at your grandchildren in the eyes and tell them that they will never be treated like they've got leprosy for as long as I'm still alive. Mzansi Patriotic Alliance leader Gayton McKenzie has dropped a bombshell and boldly declared that notorious fugitive Tabo Besta is a dead man walking Mzansi yikes now according to McKenzie Besta's days are numbered as uh, he will be stabbed by one of his uh, fellow inmates Tabo Besta was recently rearrested in Tanzania over the Easter weekend now this comes after he uh, escaped walked out from private run prison in Bloemfontein last year. Now, Mackenzie, who knows a thing or two about life behind bars, having spent 15 years locked up for two separate robberies, has suggested that Besta will be financially drained by the notorious number gang. Gayton Mackenzie even went as far as to imply that a hit had been issued on Besta by the numbers gang. Tabo Besta is already a dead man. He will be stabbed by a prisoner. He's a walking ATM in jail for the 26 gang you can never run away from a hit issued by the numbers gang nothing personal just big money mckenzie wrote on his official twitter page now mzansi mckenzie's declaration has caused a storm among south africans with the comments section ablaze with fury now the vast majority of the comments were directed at gaten mckenzie as people made it clear that they were not amused now some of the comments were like this is a very gross and disturbing thing to say unless you want to tell us that you are a already know the plan or you are part of it said duncan mnisi another said this is just plain gibberish for someone who claims to be a leader real leaders know when to talk how to talk where to talk and most importantly why should they talk not every matter deserves to be commented on some are better left off now another said if anything happens to tabo besta we know who to ask first thank you minister of prison yikes mzansi mzansi during his first court appearance on friday Tabo Besta's lawyer disclosed that uh, he had not consumed any meals since his deportation to South Africa on Thursday. Now, Besta claimed that he was uh, concerned for his safety and demanded to be served food by his uh, trusted legal team as he suspected that his food might be poisoned. However, Mzansi, the magistrate rejected his appeal for preferential treatment and instructed him to eat the same food as the other inmates. On Saturday, the Department of Correctional Services issued a statement stating that Tabo Besta had resumed consuming his meals but now how do we trust the, D the dcs who are telling us that tabo besta has resumed uh consuming his meals we want to see a video of him eating that meal because uh this tabo besta guy needs to be protected because he needs to reveal all the secrets he needs to reveal all the people that uh, have aided him and assisted him because there's four other people that have been arrested with him. Those are just small fish, you know. Uh, we need to see who the big guys are. And uh, let me know, Zansi, what do you guys think about that statement that Gayton McKenzie has made? Because, I mean, that is like dropping a seed, you know, planting a seed in people's heads. I mean, prisoners have Twitter, you know. I mean, Tabo Besta was one of them who used to steal people's bodies and put his head on those bodies uh, and then post it on uh, his Twitter account. So how many 20 six is uh, or gang members have actually now have got that seed now in their head that hey like this is a walking atm let me know what your thoughts are Zansi, on the comment section you know i love to hear from you but for now you know i will bring you the updates harder just the way you like it